This is Damian Madison, your news reporter, reporting live with breaking news on the Wells Fargo scandal. Wells Fargo, one of the stronger and have a strong reputation of banks, is under the hot seat today. Yes, under the hot seat. Wells Fargo, known for their eight is great, having more customers with more open accounts with different products and services. Yes, they're under the hot seat today. Millions and millions of unauthorized accounts were open due to the scandal. Uh, Wells Fargo also fired several, several, I mean 5,300 different employees and managers due to the scandal for no reason at all due to the scandal. Again, they're following their leader, John Struff, the CEO, and trying to make sure that this bank and the profits for this bank is made. The world has seen a different change in the Wells Fargo scandal, and they have seen a different change in the bank and how they're doing things. Again, Wells Fargo, they open up millions and millions of different accounts. Um, they're known for that their aid is great campaign. Um, every year in January, they jump, they do a campaign called Jump Into January, where they have many account holders open up different accounts, um, mortgage accounts, um, bank accounts, credit card accounts. And again, that is their way to, to again, to grow their profits. Um, again, we'll lend more clients, but again, unfortunately, um, they opened up millions of unauthorized accounts and a lot of the account holders were unhappy and Wells Fargo would have to pay restitution for all these accounts that were open um, unlawfully. Um, so the big question is, will Wells, Fo Wells Fargo ever bounce back? Will their reputation ever be the same? Will they grow to be that bank that they were years and years and years ago? The question stands. Stay tuned for your 11 o'clock news on more information on the Wells Fargo scandal.